Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome to Let's Play the demo for uh, Fetch the Ferret. I always forget how to say this character's name, and I apologize for that. By uh, Raul W. B. Um, some of you might be going, wait a second, you've played this on the channel before. I have played this game before. Um, this is actually a new demo, though, made specifically for um, made specifically for Sage 2022. Um, I've actually been talking a lot with this developer since I made that video as well playing a keyboard too because like for some reason this game has a heck of a time working with my controller for whatever reason um okay there we go so the thing that makes this demo kind of unique is that it added a feature that the dev has wanted to add for quite a while um online multiplayer and basically as you're like running around the game world you may or may not run into other ferrets <laughs> like other player characters. I don't know how many people are going to be online per se, but I figured I'd just run around for a little bit and just like see what exactly, or see if I can like find anyone or like discover some new areas, because I think there are some new areas in this demo. Stop right there, I'm the guardian of the gates. And before you say anything, we don't have any gates, but we will one day. In the meantime, I'm in charge of making sure people don't sneak inside the village. No one, ha um, no one has passed these non-gates without my approval. Well, no one has been here yet, you're the first. But soon a tide of people will come. In the meantime, you can get to where get to the village by using the elevator further on. I want to fix something real quick too. There we go. Okay. Um, I kind of forgot how to play this game on keyboard. Oh, 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 oh! There's another one. Oh my god! I, <laughs> the multiplayer is working. I think I lost him though. Oh. Uh <laughs> I, I'm sure we'll find more. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the gimmick of this demo. Occasionally you will find other ferrets just like hopping around. This game is kind of insane if you've never played it or have never seen footage of it before or didn't watch my original video. It's like a 3D platformer with like a heavy emphasis on parkour. I know there's a dash button. How do I dash again? There we go. Yeah, he has like a he has like a wild drop dash where you just fall extremely quickly. <laughs> I really love how this feels. This game has has really Oh yeah, I always forget you have that move as well. I actually don't think you can use that on, on controller, or at least I can't find a button that makes it work on my controller. I think that like Cyan Bird's name is Powie. I don't know much about him quite yet, but he's like fe uh, Fetch's best friend, I take it. <laughs> Peppy. Oh. Hi, your time was 60 seconds. I didn't know I was being timed. My time? Yeah, that's how long it took you to get here from that guy that checks everyone who comes here. That's not bad for a hamster. It would probably suck if you were a cheetah. I don't know what you are, but you're not a cheetah. You're fast, uh, faster than a hamster, though. Take pride in that. Welcome to our village. I'm Peppy. I time everyone who passes through here. I really hope to see a cheetah one day. Or at least someone as fast as one. Can you be as fast as the cheetah? You'll have to practice a lot for that. I actually have, like, helped this, um, dev, like, test some of the multiplayer stuff as well. Like, basically, we all just, uh, like, a bunch of people just hopped into, like, a V, like, a Discord VC and, like, just, like, stress-tested the online, I guess, before this demo was released. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. Can you still fall through here? Okay, good. What... <laughs> When I, when I was playing this earlier, you could there was straight up just no collision there for some reason. One, two, three, four, we'll be coming back for more. Five, six, seven, eight, if you don't negotiate. Sorry, sir, what's going on? The power plant is shut down. We don't have any electricity. Yeah, when the earthquake hit, the safety system automatically switched off the entire plant. But they still haven't turned it back on. Heck, they're not even back yet. Wait, they left? Yeah, when, uh, when the quake hit, they all packed up and ran. But we'll show them. We'll make so uh, we'll make so much noise. They're gonna have to come back and fix this. Can you get inside and turn on your cells? Why? They made the mess. We're not going to fix this for them. Yeah, their fault. Their responsibility. I guess we have a power plant area. Okay. Oh. Oh God, I'm timed. Uh oh. oh okay. Oh, that doesn't reset the timer though. And that doesn't reset either. Am I doing something wrong? I should be jumping farther than that, right? 
There we go. I've probably already failed, though. <laughs> Does this really need a timer? Okay, now you guys are gonna, like, see some of the super cool platforming. Because the- oh my god. Okay, this game is still in early development, I should say. The physics are quite jank, but in, like, a very charming sort of way, if that makes sense. I don't think I've actually seen, like, a- like, a full-blown, like- oh, okay. Like, a full-blown, like, like, physics or, like, a platforming segment in this game yet. Yeah, typically, it's always just, like, just areas you can run around in. Something about this springboard and these first two jumps don't feel like they're working properly. Oh, do I have to be dashing when I start it? Okay. Oh, come on, come on, you can get up. Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> This might sound weird, but, like, glitching out of level geometry is fun. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Do this to get past here. Good. Oh, oh I didn't jump there. Oh. Might be able to save myself. <laughs> nope, okay. I won't try this for too long. It seems like there's not a... Oh, you can you can start your dash, like, while spinning on these. Okay. It seems like there's not a checkpoint in this area at all, which is a little frustrating in my opinion. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Actual effect gameplay. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Okay, we'll try that again. There's something extremely satisfying about the drop dash in this game. How you, like, just you like, jump, just jump a tiny bit, and then, like, you just, like, halt all your momentum, go straight down, and then you, like, just rocket forward. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'll give it a couple more tries, and if I can't do that... Like, this is still a very, like, like work-in-progress kind of area, and I'm, I'm assuming, so maybe, like, this place isn't fully complete yet. I feel like I should be able to get through this, it's just that the platforming in this game is very hard to get used to. <laughs> it's fun once you can, but like... My god, this game is a steep learning curve. Maybe if I go into walk mode, it'll be a little easier. Okay, now drop dash. Oh, good, this is the far as I've gotten. Oh, um... Oh, man, okay, okay. Eh, we'll try this again later when the game comes out. <laughs> what the heck? Oh god, this happened last time I tried to record this. Uh Okay, hold this hold on a second. I think I have to like just straight up reload the game after that. The dev did have to patch this, I think, because he accidentally didn't turn on the multiplayer. <laughs> I, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought we'd see more ferrets out here. I swear it works. Like I've I've seen it with my own two eyes. Like when I was when I was helping the dev test this in my own personal time. It's like you could have upwards of like 50 other ferrets just like running around the same area you are. <laughs> it's really cool. The dev apparently has plans to add, like, functionality to this as well. Like, it's not just like, oh, they're, they're just, like, ghosts you can't interact with and can only see. 
I think the dev, like, wants to add, like, features that'll let you, like, interact with the other ferrets, and he's gonna call it Business Mode, which is a brilliant name, because business is the name of, like, a group of ferrets. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore you this time. Is this glitch stick? Oh god, okay, this glitch is still in the game. <laughs> that was still there last time I played. <laughs> this game is really fun to break, if that makes sense. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like, like it might sound like I'm calling the game glitchy when I say that, but, like, I, I really mean, like, like, it's, it is genuinely fun to try and, like, break out of level geometry and go places you're not supposed to go. I've never played this game. Ooh, I've never played this game, but, like, it kind of reminds me of Anodyne, because I think that's something a lot of people like about that game. Like, it kind of expects you to learn how to break out of level geometry as, like, as, like, a core gameplay feature. I gotta play that one of these days. Feel the rhythm, man. Taste the groove. Taste the... Smell the harms. They do no harm. Only harming harmful vibes. I'm a little confused. The har harmonies, my friend. Boom de cha di boom de cha. Four of the forest floor. I come to this spot to listen to sound of nature. Branches thumping rhythmically. The hi-hat of falling leaves. They form the vi uh, vibest of operas. Dance to the rhythm of the giant uh, director in the sky. Actually, I think the music is coming from the cave over there. Nature is beautiful, man. Pure perfection. Mm bum tish da ba tish. I think the dev said he was going to open up the rhythm game sections again for this demo. There we go. You know, I was actually a little worried that this sort of thing would happen. Um, where, like... There wouldn't be that many people online. I actually asked in a couple discords, like, if maybe some friends want to join me, but, like, everyone, it was on short notice, and everyone was either, like, too busy or in a very inconvenient time zone, so. <laughs> ah, we're just doing this solo, solo ferret, ferret gameplay right now. Funny ferret gaming, let's go. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, this game has rhythm sections, and they're quite fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if these 100% work in multiplayer, but you can access them in this build. What the heck? Oh, 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 I remember in the original, like, version I played of this, you actually, like, had to start over if... You do have to start over. Uh... There we go. One thing I especially like about these sections is, like, the music is actually synced to all of these obstacles, which has got to be a lot harder to do than it sounds. Nineteen ninety five, that's almost my birth year. <laughs> God, it's just fun to run around in this game, you know? Like <laughs> I wanna see if we can go back to the start and maybe see any other ferrets, maybe. I don't remember Fetch like having grunts before. <laughs> that might be a new addition. Oh, oh, there's another one! Hello! Yeah, it's a little jank right now, but you can totally see other ferrets just running around. I think I lost him. Like, there's no player names or, like, any customization to, like, tell them apart right now. There's another one! <laughs> but the fact that you can just, like, see each other, like... 
I, I gotta say, when I originally played this game, I want to say last year at this point, this is not a feature I expected to be implemented at some point. I think that Dev told me that there's even like a story reason for this too, but that's a major spoiler for what they have in mind, or what he has in mind for later. There's a way to glitch through this gate. Uh, hmm. I can just always jump over it. <laughs> Let's see what else there is to look at here. Oh. Come on. Oops. Uh, hold on. There we go. Get back up! Ah! this gate. Hey, you can't pass through here. Yeah, it's dangerous out there. It's not because of that, yeah? Yeah, it's because there's no light. There isn't? No, we can't let people through until the power station is repaired. Right, we'll stay here to make sure of that. Ah, but I can't beat the power station right now. Hmm. Well, remember what I said earlier about being very fun to glitch through and over obstacles in this game? I'm told I can't go through there, and I see it as a challenge. I'm not even sure if you're meant to go through there right now, but... Hold on, I know an easy way to do this. <laughs> I apologize, Raul, if, like, I'm, I'm breaking the artistic integrity of your game by doing this, but, like... I, I swear to God, like, lean into this. It's fun to glitch this game. Like, <laughs> it's fun to break out of level geometry you're not supposed to be in, you know? Like, embrace it like games like Anodyne too. Like, I'm, I'm actually serious when I say this. <laughs> okay, where are... Oh, this is new. Okay, this isn't where I thought I was gonna go. I feel like I've been here in a previous build before. I got up here, okay. Nice. Where is this, where is this supposed to lead me? Uh-oh! Ah. Like, platforming like that, I love. That is really complicated, what it expects you to do there. I see what it wants me to do, I think. Is there a way I could potentially get higher, though, to get a better vantage point of it? Ah, oh, no, I tried. Okay, okay, we'll go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's another one. Hello. Look at him schmoovin'. <laughs> Here's where I want to go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hop, jump, jump again. Okay. <laughs> I love that you can do this. I really do. Got a boundary break where we take the ferret anywhere we want. <laughs> okay, now our goal is that gate over there. I can see it down there. I have to make sure not to go too far out of level geometry, or because it does kill you if you go too far away. Oh, is this it? Yes, this is it! Oh my god! And we're on the other side! Oh! Okay, I guess the game doesn't want me going that way now. <laughs> eh, fair enough. Oh, thank you, Panda Cloud. Get out of here. I want to glitch somewhere, though. Hold on, I want to try going the other way. Jumping over the other gate. Oh, there's two more ferrets. I think I just revealed my secrets to them. Oh my god, like, dude, this is cool! Like... <laughs> Like, I love that you can do stuff like this, and now I'm in a place I probably shouldn't be. This place has unfinished level geometry. <laughs> see, like, look, like, th this is awesome. I love that you can do stuff like this. Let's see how far we can take this now. You're not gonna let me go up that. Oh, is there anything to me to go up? Oh my god. Oh, there we are. We're back here again. Oh my god! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Let him go! Hmm, I think I might have explored everything that I possibly can right now.
What's up this way? Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm inside the house. <laughs> god, I love the model for this character. It's so goofy and I love it. Oh, this looks a bit new. Oh, no, 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 we're back here again. Okay. I think that, that zip line goes all the way up to, like, the top of the area. I want to check the, um... Let's see. Tutorial, Rat Hub, Power Plant, Casual Online Play. Okay, so yeah, I think I have showed off all the features. Oh, and there's the Discord if you want to join yourself. Like, join this game's Discord. Like, it's a fun time, even if you're not, <laughs> you know. Like, follow this game's development. I'm absolutely loving where it's going. It's like, I just wake up every morning and I go to, like, the, the dev channel and it's something new. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the start. That one is just standing in the air. <laughs> yeah, like, obviously a lot of stuff with this game is still very, like, in development, but, like, the online is certainly very in development as well. But, yeah, that, that, was, that was Fetch the Ferret. <laughs> this game is super cool, and I, I really want the best for it, frankly. Like, I love this game. The developer is super fun. Why are you leaning? Like, are you supposed to be doing that? <laughs> I love the character, too. And yeah, that was, that was the demo. Um, I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.